There was a moment in that Republican presidential debate last week. I'm sure you've all heard it or watched it or read about it at least, and maybe you're sick of hearing about it, so I'll only talk about it for a few minutes. But it was the moment where uh, the gay soldier asked the question over the through the YouTube video about uh, what the Republican candidates would do, how they would handle uh, gays in the military should they be elected president. Rick Santorum gave the answer that, you know, the, the military is not a place for social experimentation, social engineering, he said, and that sex of any kind has no place in, in the military, which strikes me as just so infuriating because, number one, it's not social engineering because uh, the fact that people against gays in the military consistently ignore is that gays have always been in the military. Gay men and gay women, for as long as women have been allowed to serve in active roles, have always been in the military, not just in the United States, all over the world, in any country that has ever maintained an army. Gays have always served in the military. They, they are there. It's not like lifting the ban is injecting gay people into the military. They're there. The other thing about saying that, that that sex of any kind and he tried to he tried to make it sound fair you know like well it's it, I'm, I'm against heterosexuals uh, having sex in the military too he has this this really ignorant and infantile and and insulting concept of sex in the military as if all these uh, gay people now that they can serve openly are just gonna start fucking each other like crazy in uniform on the base while they're on duty perhaps even while they're deployed in combat positions they're just gonna be fucking like crazy and if the if the men and the women the heterosexual couples were doing that too well he'd be uh, he'd be against that too so it's totally fair Th that has that is not the issue even remotely what it means is that if a gay man is in the army and he's in a relationship, he will be able to give his partner a hug and a kiss when he comes home from deployment without having to worry about being found out, without having to worry about an investigation being opened against him. That's what it means, you asshole. It means that soldiers are free now to... I shouldn't keep saying soldiers, members of the military, soldiers, marines, uh, sailors, airmen, everybody in the, in the military um, are free to live their lives as they see fit while also doing their duty in the military and doing their best to serve honorably. They can also live their lives and they won't have to live in secrecy anymore. And it's a good thing, Rick Santorum. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And it has nothing to do with, with your perverted, weird view of, of sex or, or social engineering or any of that other horseshit that you tried to, to put on people. The other thing about that was, of course, the people who booed the gay soldier when he asked that question, when he identified himself as, as a gay soldier. He asked the question, and there were people in the audience who booed him. Where the fuck do you people get off? I, 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 it was a Republican primary debate, so I presume it was a pretty conservative audience. And to just think, not only of, of how conservatives, especially in the last 10 years since we've been at war, have been such just over-the-top, uncritical, rah-rah cheerleaders for the military. I mean, no one is a there's no segment of, of the American population that is a bigger bunch of apologists for the military, no matter what it does, than conservative Christians. They, the military just can do no wrong in their eyes. They are such boosters of the military. And they so much so that they will defend members of the military, individuals, when they do horrific things. They try to minimize the, the, the mistreatment of, of prisoners at Abu Ghraib. They tried to defend those people who humiliated and tortured people who were their prisoners, who were their responsibility, for fun. If Lindy England had asked a question on that YouTube debate last night, would they have booed her? No. They, and, and, and I know that, that these behaviors that, that 
uh, war crimes and things of torture and things of that nature that, that those people have done are not representative of the general conduct of our men and women in the United States military. I know that, and I'm grateful for that. And I'm, fr I'm freely willing to admit that. I'm proud of that, that our, that our soldiers and sailors and Marines and airmen and National Guardsmen uh, know how to conduct themselves with, with integrity and with honor and to follow the law. What really bothers me is when people, like maybe some of those people who, who booed that gay soldier, that they will use the, the honorable conduct of the average soldier as a shield to defend the aberrant soldier, the soldiers who do commit those crimes, who do violate the law and mistreat people and torture and, and, and needlessly kill. They'll, they'll, and yet, what, what does it take to get a conservative audience to boo a member of the, of the United States military? It has to be a guy in uniform who likes to kiss other guys. That's all it takes. He doesn't have to be a murderer or a torturer or someone who is a disgrace to his uniform and his country. No, no, that's fine. We'll, we'll make excuses for that guy. We'll, we'll, we'll chalk him up to, to the stress or the fog of war. We'll, we'll defend that guy. But the guy who likes to kiss other guys, oh, no, fuck him. Boo, never mind that, that he's over there in a war zone and at any moment he could be killed or forced to kill somebody else while prosecuting a war that most of you guys who applauded probably supported and continue to support. No, that's all right. Never mind any of that. He likes to kiss other boys. Boo, we don't need him. Get him out of the military. You fucking pathetic bigots. I hope you, you know what, I hope you vote for Santorum. I really do. I hope you vote for Santorum. All you people who 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 booed the that that gay man from the military who asked that question. I oh please please vote for Santorum because you fucking deserve each other.